Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is my month's end video for June 2020. Can't believe it's the end of June already. Um, got a lot of stuff. Started out like this this month, and it just grew and grew and grew. And uh, I didn't put stuff in particular order that I got it in, but I will show you what I got. Some stuff I didn't show yet. Um, these two I got from eBay. A movie that has not been talked about a lot, but I heard it was good. Mad Dog and Glory, Robert De Niro, Uma Thurman, and Bill Murray. Weird cast, but hey, it, it is is going to work. And it is, it is produced by Martin Scorsese. Um, came out in 1993. It's... 97 minutes, and it's a Kino, yeah, Kino, who am I talking about, Lewis Switcher, this is Kino's, if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out, I didn't even open it yet, it's a brand new factory sealed, give it the rub, next one I got, I wanted to see this movie, but I didn't want to pay 20 bucks for it, so I'm going to pay like 13 something, it's The Hunt. I only got the Blu-ray in this. The DVD and digital were not in here. But I'm happy it came with the slip. The Blu-ray. The Hunt. Can't wait to check this out. I heard it was kind of like Ready or Not. But on a bigger scale. So, yeah. Check that one out. Next, these are three that uh, uh, Joe Martinez... Or his YouTube channel, Martinez Joe, seventy four, um, sent to me. He put this on. He tacked it on his um, Twilight Time order because I didn't have money at the time. I was getting paid two days after that, so he said, "Fine, whatever. That's cool." Um, the three that I, I wanted four, but he could only get the three, so I said, "Sure." First one, Baby Boom. This movie I haven't seen in years. It's got Diane Keaton, Harold Ramis. Can't wait to check this out again. Great comedy. From the uh, 80s, right? From 1987. That's right. Well, success. Uh, spoil. Rock Hunter. Uh, this is a, uh, this is a um, Jane Mansfield and Tony Randall movie which I haven't seen in years either I like collecting Tony Randall movies he's he, he was he was awesome he had a really big movie career then he got to TV and people think of him just as the odd couple no he was in a lot of movies I don't know why I just showed you that but whatever this one <clears throat> is actually a public domain copy is actually a public domain movie. Lost his copyright years ago. It was an independent film. But it was directed by John Huston. Beat the Devil. With. Um, with. Uh, Humphrey Bogart. Jennifer Jones. Got Pierre Laurie in here. And. Uh, this movie i never seen before. I've seen bits and pieces. But yeah it's supposed to be great. Dark comedy. All filmed in Italy. Yeah. That's that from Twilight Time. I don't know if I'm going to buy any more Twilight Times. Unless I find them cheap on eBay or Amazon. I'm probably not going to buy any more Twilight Times. This one I got from... Uh, where did I get this one from? I got this from Hamilton Book. No, not Hamilton Book. Family Video. Molly's Game. I had another one that came from Family Video, but I can't find it in the stack. It'll pop up soon. But Molly's Game is four ninety nine, and uh, I was wanted to see this movie. It has a great cast. Um, check it out right there. Um, it's about a skier <clears throat> who ran the world's most exclusive high stakes poker game. For decades before the arrest in the middle of the night by um, 17 
FBI agents. Yeah. Have to check it out and see what happened to her at the end of that movie. Um, okay. Next. Got this one. I had to order this one from Canada because they didn't have this in America. Because America's version was a DVD. You know, whatever. It is um, Little Monsters and uh, great cast on this as well. It's kind of weird hearing Josh Gatt, the voice of uh, Olaf, using the F-bomb all the time around kids in the movie. But hey, whatever. It was funny to me. It was a great zombie movie. Um, originally was from Hulu and uh, Screen Australia. Is a company from Australia that made this. Um, yeah. So if you want to see it. It is on Hulu for free. And um, yeah. You can see it for free on Hulu. I think there's commercials. If you pay for Hulu there's no commercials. Another Kino. For Lewis Switcher. Transylvania 6 5000. Got this one off of eBay. It actually popped up. On my suggestions, I was looking for this movie, and it was like eleven ninety nine. And usually, this is like twenty or more. Great cast; you could check it out right there. And of course, you got um, the great Jeff Goldblum, funny man that he is. And uh, this is before Seinfeld, but it's got Michael Michael Richards in there too that played Kramer. So yeah, Transylvania six five thousand. Haven't seen this in years. And, um, yeah, if you're interested, I highly recommend to pick up a copy of this movie. Came out in 85, 1985. Next, uh, our good friends at Stinky Tuna. I uh, got two here. I know I have more somewhere. And I just made another order for uh, July, so... Yeah, this one, Star Wars, this is the holiday special, 40th anniversary edition, <gasps> this came out in 1978, and uh, the reason why people can put this out on Blu-ray and DVD is because it lost its copyright a long time ago, so it's public domain, George Lucas, Disney, even 20th Century Fox, before they bought by Disney. Can't do anything about it. Because why? It's, it's public domain. And um, the inside's really cool. Spent a lot of time and effort on this. There is special features on here. And um, yeah. The movie itself, I think it's an hour and a half. So, yeah. Word is that... Um, Carrie Fisher used to put this put this on at uh, her Christmas parties to make people leave. So, yeah, that was a classic story. It's on IMDb. But, yeah, and then there's a couple of scenes in here. I think this one, if you can see it right here, this is a deleted scene that they actually used for this special. And they didn't use it in A New Hope. So, bam, if you're interested, I highly recommend you pick it up. Worst movie ever, but it's like a train train wreck. You can't look away. Another one that I got from Stinky Tuna, which I know this is coming on Criterion, but I don't know how how long we have to wait or whatever. But um, and I don't feel like paying that much for it. I pay like fifteen something for this. The Irishman. This is the uh, this is the um, can't read it backwards. Damn it. Uh, the two disc deluxe edition where it's got some like I think it's got like interviews from talk shows on it some making of some internet interviews and some other stuff so yeah it's all region the movie itself is like I think three hours three hours and a half something like that it comes with two discs so there you go. Or you can get the one disc version, which still has um, special features on it. 
So I highly recommend this movie. I got it because, yeah, I have Netflix, but I wouldn't want to watch a three and a half hour movie. And then at time to time, it's going to buffer. You get that circle, it buffer. So no. Next, a uh, video game movie though next. Had to get this. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Haven't seen this movie in years. Pam had a copy at the video game movie dome. And I'm like, yeah. It, it was nearly brand new with the slip. So, uh, yeah. It's got a lot of special features on it. If you want to check that out, go pick it up. It's a great movie. Next, more stuff from Pam. A lot of stuff. Midway. I had bought this as a um, Blu-ray, but I'm like, eh, I really don't want the Blu-ray. I want the, I want to see it in 4K. So I bought it from her in 4K. She gave me a good deal, and uh, it's got a great cast. If you can see it, great cast in it. Well worth checking out. Midway. It is a remake of, I think, the movie that came out in. 40s or no in the 50s 60s correct me if I'm wrong but there was a movie midway it came out around the 50s or 60s um yeah so I want to check this one out uh 138 minutes it's kind of long but you know hey um next she found me a bunch of Star Wars 4Ks. Now, <clears throat> it's not all of them. She's still on the hunt for some. But it starts off with uh, The Phantom Menace. It's in mint condition. A um, little wear on the um, slip, but that's okay with me. As long as I get the slip. So The Phantom Menace is the first one. It comes with a Blu-ray, 4K, and bonus disc. And then from there, I don't have the other two sequels. That's what she's looking for next. Rogue One, which I know i never seen yet. I should. But once I get them all, I'm going to marathon them all in a week. So Rogue One, this ties, this is supposed to tie in this movie with um, A New Hope beautifully. And um, yeah, they even have a... A digital um, Princess Leia in there. Carrie Fisher's voice, but they actually used her daughter for the for the digital of it, and it really does look like her. Um, and Peter Cushing, he's in it, started a movie, and, and has been dead for years. So yeah, Rogue One, and Darth Vader, I think, is in here too. Yeah, Darth Vader's in here. Yep, we could bring back stars from the dead. That's how good we are in the in the, in the film industry now. Next, um, one of my favorites, A New Hope, started it all. And you got um, got a lot of special features on this and stuff. Yes, can't wait to see that in 4K. Missing the Empire Strikes Back still. She's looking for it. Uh, this is... Uh, this was like the first one she found. And it is uh, Return of the Jedi. One of my favorites. Again, uh, people say Empire Strikes Back is their favorite. I, I have to go with this one. I don't know why. I think it's just... I like Jabba the Hutt's layer in it. I like, I like that pit with the spikes in it. And... And it was a monster pit, and it was eating people. That was cool. And um, Yoda, Ewoks, everything. This is a great movie. Um, didn't really end here, did it? No, kids, it didn't. Because it, it picked up years later with The Force Awakens, Kylo Ren, Rey... Daisy Ridley, my favorite. And uh, this movie started out great. This was a great movie. Um, and then it got into 
Like, I didn't know what I was doing, Territory. And it is The Last Jedi. Now, get, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good scenes in the movie. Action. Battle scenes. Um, and other stuff. But uh, it could have done a little bit better job at editing on this. And made it a little bit more tighter. Um, I love the cast in this movie. So, and then, uh, of course, Mark Hamill's in it. Um, yeah. So that's the, the last shit I, I do have The Rise of Skywalker already. I got it from the Disney Movie Club, even though the slip doesn't match. Oh, wow. Next, uh, two more. These are actually two more sets. These are sets that I bought from, um, Hamilton Book. Because one was on sale and I had to get the other one. This one was not. This was like nine something. Which at a ch at a time I could have got this at um, a big lots for five bucks. But I'm like I don't really care. <laughs> but now I want a lot of the 20th Century Fox classics. Because I don't know if Disney's going to put these out anymore. Or if they're just going to be like. I don't know. If they're going to reissue them. If they're going to take them off the market. And whatever's left is left. It comes with four movies. It comes with four movies. Will Rogers. I think it's Roy Rogers' brother. Correct me if I'm wrong. But. Um, one, it's got four movies. It's got feature. It's got special features. I think on each disc. It's well worth getting. And it comes with a comes with a booklet. Um, I do have Laurel and Hardy set like this as well, but each set comes with three. Um, yeah. Next, this was three ninety five. This one you couldn't find that many places, but when I seen they had it, I had to pick it up. And it is volume two. I said if I'm gonna pick up volume two. I'm going to pick up volume one as well. This is Roy Rogers, Will Rogers uh, collection, volume two. And uh, it's, um, it's got four movies as well. So you got eight movies total in these two sets. They could have made it a little bit more compact, but I mean, still. All these movies range from about... On average, to about 80 minutes. Average. So they're not long movies. Yeah, the, the, the longest one is probably like 86 minutes. So, yeah, they weren't long movies. And all the aspect ratios are 1.331. So if you're interested in um, Will Rogers, go to... Um, go to... Uh, Hamilton book. These are all region locked though, unfortunately. And uh, comes with a book on this one as well. So, yeah. But there's well, well, well worth getting. There is other, there is other sets I want to try to get. A lot of them are out of print now. But, um, hey. Next, um, if I could get this out. I usually have everything prepared, but since it was all stacked up right here, I uh, use the shelves. Um, two from Paramount Presents, and um, just happens to be the first two. And these are from Amazon. You got Fatal Attraction. This is the very first um, one uh, edition of it. The very first um, in the series, I mean. And you got the poster in there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool touch. Clear. I'm not going to take them out because I already did this in other videos. And then Elvis movie that I was missing. King Creole. Hope they put more Elvis movies out. I love how they put the, um, the dates on them. Easy to read. And, um, yeah, I don't like how they... Re-rated this movie because it's for 58. 58, we didn't have ratings. They put the PG rating on there. Whatever. These movies were cleaner than clean. 
So, yeah. Those are two from um, Paramount Presents. I am not getting them all from Paramount Presents just because of the slip covers. No, I'm only getting ones that I do not have in my collection. And uh, they're pretty nice. They're pretty nice. I recommend them. Um, as far as... I mean, the remastered in 4K... But as far as uh, special features, not many special features on here. So, as everything comes tumbling down, <sighs> okay. That's next. Uh, next, I'm just gonna grab them randomly off of here. Um. Ah, this is from a Instagrammer, YouTuber, physical media man. He has a store, an Instagram physical media man store on Instagram. And he had this brand new factory sealed. And he sold it, gave me a good price for it. A Silver Linings Playbook. I always pass this one up at Big Lots. And finally I'm like, I gotta get this movie for my collection. And it's got a great cast. You got Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence, Robert De Niro, um, Chris Tucker's in it, and somebody, Robert De Niro. Did I say Robert De Niro? Yeah, I did say Robert De Niro. Oh, okay, so I have it finally in my collection, Silver Linings Playbook. Let's see how good this thing is. Next, something off, something off of Amazon, um, not Amazon, eBay. I was looking for a copy of this because this was the next one to go on the chopping block of uh, movies that you're not going to find for a while. It is To Kill a Mockingbird. So far, the prices are decent, but uh, I just happened to find the one with the, um, with the universal slip on it. That is cool. It talks about the movie. And then... So, yeah. Talks about the movie. Then inside you got the same artwork. Now, <clears throat> I love this slip. I love the 100th anniversary slips. But Paramount should have done this. With their new stuff. They put it, should have put Velcro in there. And a little... Little thing that you could pull it out with. And then show the poster. But, uh, whatever. Um, so, To Kill a Mockingbird. And it is a classic. If you haven't seen the movie and you read the book, whatever, same thing. Um, here's another one from, uh, here's another one I got. They all got separated. This is from, um, Family Video, A Hustle. It's basically a remake off of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. I bought this for my wife. She's seen it with her cousin at the theater. She said it was pretty funny. So I bought it for her to put in her collection. And uh, who else is in here? It's Rebel Wilson and Hathaway. Uh, no one else I know. So yeah, this is like uh, just a Blu-ray version. Which I have to replace the case on that. Next, I think these are all stinky tunas. These are more stinky tuna ones. Yeah. This one is Chevy Chase's first movie, I think, in like 17 years that he got um, top billing. Kids downstairs yelling, and they like to hear their own voice if you're hearing that. Um, the Last Laugh, Chevy Chase, Richard Dreyfus. It's about a comedian who retired years ago. And he used to be the manager. And he said, let's make a comeback. Make it big. And they do. I um, haven't seen this yet. Um, the cast consists of uh, Chevy Chase. Uh, Richard Dreyfus. It's got Andy McDowell in it. And uh, uh, da, 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 the rest of the people I don't recognize. I recognize her, but I don't know her name. She was in a lot of stuff. And, um, 
Yeah. Great artwork as well. So, the last laugh. If you're a Chevy Chase fan, check it out. I have not yet. Next, the week of. I wanted to check this out on Netflix. Never got around to in it to doing it. But um, since they had it on Blu-ray, these Sinky Tuna ones are all basically uh, BDRs. But they're really good quality BDRs. It's like this is better quality than Netflix itself. And um, uh, I'm trying to find a year. I think this came out in 2018. And The Last Laugh came out in 2019, I think. You can also look these up on IMDb. Boom. The only pain in the butt about this, um, getting moves from there, you have to manually put them in the app that I have. All movies... Wait, my movie pro app you have to manually put these in there so I try to find pictures of the cover put it in there and then you have to fill out all the information but it works because they don't read the barcodes so the week of finally something that was supposed to be really funny and um, yeah it's one of their top sellers on Stinky Tuna right now the Wrong Missy with uh, David Spade and Lauren Lipkus, which I don't know who that is. She has been in other movies that I have seen, but just don't remember her name. Um, Happy Madison production. This one came out this year. And, uh, yeah. Got artwork on it. As they are progressing, as Stinky Tuna is progressing, their artwork is getting better. These are basically um, for your consideration, and they have the permission to make more copies of it, and they just copy the inlay. But the inlays are pretty, pretty solid. So, yeah, can't wait to uh, check that one out. Next, 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 let's grab a. Let's grab some here. Put this one back. Next, this is another one from... Hmm. I don't know if I got this from Hamilton Books or Family Video. I think I got it from Hamilton Books. And it's Outbreak. Yeah. Because uh, it was pretty cheap. So I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for this one. Because I already have... Uh, what's the other movie? Contagion I already have. So Outbreak is the other virus movie I wanted to get. And um, yeah. 128 minutes. Came out in 90, 95. So. Yeah. Two National Geographic movies I did not know existed. Until it just popped up on my feed. Monst Flying Monsters 3D. Which also has a 2D. And uh, this is with David Attenborough. Um, he does a lot of BBC stuff. And I think this is actually from the BBC. It's from Sky 3D. So that's their cable company over there, I think. Um, Atlantic Productions, National Geographic International, Sky 3D. Uh, it's rated G. It is about 40 minutes long. I don't think it had anything to do with the BBC. So, yeah. There's a DVD and Blu-ray combo. You know, the Blu-ray actually has the, the artwork and the DVD kind of sucks. But, <laughs> yeah, that's another um, IMAX movie for the collection. The other one was this, which I've seen many times, which I didn't think it was an IMAX movie. That was Lewis and Clark, The Great Journey, West, narrated by Jeff Bridges, and it is 40 minutes as well. And uh, this is only a Blu-ray. Um, there was supposed to be another one coming. I forgot the name of it. It was Journey to Somewhere. And the uh, seller that I bought it off of, it's kind of like a scammer, you know. He will send dumb stuff out. And then this time, 
He makes fake tracking up, so it looks like it got shipped, but it didn't. Oh, I gave him a bad review, and I talked to eBay. eBay, all they do is like, here's a refund, you know, case closed. I'm like, no, I don't want just a refund, dude. I want the guy that's behind that page punished. I want him banned from eBay so he doesn't do it to other people. I should have checked his uh, status of all the complaints and stuff. I did not do that. Sometimes I get excited. I'm like, I want that copy. Boom. Bye. And this time I didn't do it. And it's not the first time. But, uh, yeah. But I did get two out of three. Next. Next, next, next. Ah. Police Squad. The um, television series. It's only... I think six episodes didn't last that long, which is a shame. But, um, yeah, I did have the Blu-ray copy, or no, the DVD copy, and I stuck it in there. A little bit different from the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray has the, the names of the episodes. This one has all the technical features on it. So if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen Police Squad... I recommend to check it out, pick it up. This is a really good starter. If you really are into the Naked Gun movies, there's a lot of jokes in here that ended up in the movies. Um, a lot cleaner than the movies was, but uh, yeah, Police Squad. And of course, I had all three Police Squad movies, but one of them was the American version. The other two were UK. And the UK uh, things are that thick. So what I did was I sent it to um, somebody I trade with and um, so just gave it to him because he didn't have even any one of those movies. But I replaced it with the three pack, all of them in the slim case. So it takes up less room. Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad. Uh, you got a group commentary track. And the, the other two does not have any kind of specials, which sucks. Naked Gun 2 and a half, The Smell of Fear, and The Naked Gun 33 and the Third, The Final Insult. Boom. I highly recommend, if you want to save space, to get this set. A movie I wanted to see for a very long time. And every time it went the five bucks, I would click on it going buy. It's like, oh, it'll be, it'll be in stock in like a month or something like that. This time it, it said that again. So I'm like, buy and I'll just, it'll cost me only $5. But it did come faster than I thought. And it is Snowpiercer. I know there's a TV show of this, but I have to see the movie to understand the TV show. Maybe not. I don't know. But I heard this is really good. And it's from, it's from the director of um, Parasite. I put the little sticker on there. Just so that I remind myself that. And uh, it's from Anchor Bay Stars. Um, release. And um, yeah. A lot of good actors in this movie as well. Check that out. Um, Snowpiercer. Finally, here's something I got from a U.S. seller. But... Um, it is a Australian import, and it's not here yet. It's top secret. Watch this become part of the, um, Paramount Presents section, um, collection and stuff. But if anything, it's going to have the same things on it. So I don't care. I wanted this for the longest time. Top secret on Blu-ray. Finally got it. It is all region because it's Paramount. And, um... It's got a whole bunch of special features on it. Um, if you could read that. A whole bunch of special features on it. This movie is from 1984. 130 minutes. And, um, yeah. Val Kilmer. I think this is his first movie. Very funny stuff. And he actually sung in this movie. It's kind of like a parody of... Um, parody of an Elvis movie pretty much so if, if Elvis was a spy type of movie 
and he played the Elvis role, and he really has a good voice in this movie. I do have the original soundtrack at my parents' house in um, the vinyl. It's not that long of a soundtrack, but it is a good soundtrack. If you find it ever, I highly recommend I pick it up. Top secret. So excited to have that. <sighs> Let's see what else we got here. Okay. This one, DVD. Um, Warner Brothers Archives. This is um, the only Little Rascals movie ever made. General Spanky. Where Spanky McFarlane gets top billing. And this is not the first time he got top billing. There was like another short or two at the beginning of the talkies where, where Spanky first started. And he got top billing on those. So, yeah, he was like the only little rascal, yard gang member, that um, got top billing and things. But this one does have alfalfa in it, buckwheat, and I think that's it. There might be some other members that are just no-name no name kids, but uh, yeah. I heard this wasn't politically correct. It's only 72 minutes. It came out... 1936. So, yeah, it's a BDR. It's a DVDR. It doesn't bother me. I think at one point it was the actual press disc, but I'm not 100% on that. Here's one I have not shown, which I did not get from Germany. I got it from a U.S. seller. And uh, Dollar Tree had this at one point, but only one part of it. And it was the Young Doctor's Notebook. There is two parts to this. And this is the whole entire series. Uh, seasons 1 and 2. Or as they like to say it. Series 1 and 2. And this is all region. In case you're wondering and looking for it. It is it is in English. But everything else is written in German. In the back. But that's fine. I'm um, just looking for more Daniel Radcliffe stuff to watch. And... Um, it's on, it's on two discs. And uh, you got like a pamphlet full of like um, stuff they're trying to sell. Which I just keep it in there. Um, so the Young Doctor's Notebook I have never seen. I heard it was really good. And uh, I didn't want to buy that one. for Even if it was a dollar I would still have to buy the other DVD. And I don't want them on DVD. I want it on Blu-ray. If they were only available on DVD, no problem. But I want the Blu-ray. So another Daniel Radcliffe for the collection. Here are three. Yeah, here are three that I got from um, Family Video as well. They're all coming at weird times. I still am missing like three or four. That they still didn't send out yet. It's kind of weird. They're behind. But um. Dr. Sleep. And um. Director's Cut. And the regular cuts on here. And um. Yeah. The theatrical cut is 152. 152 minutes. Director's Cut is 180. It's three hours. The only thing I don't like about, uh, they have the permission to do this, so they can, is the artwork they print out themselves. Yeah, so, whatever. Um, discs, right there. So at least I can watch this along with The Shining, because I'm going to watch The Shining Extended uh, Edition along with the Extended dur dur um edition of this. Next, it's a movie that I did buy for Kermit's Ghost at one point and I'm like, yeah, later, later I'll buy it. Did find it pretty cheap on there. I think I found it for $4.99. Boom. Sister Brothers. Don't know what it's about. It's a western. John C. Riley, uh, Joaquin Phoenix, Jake Gyllenhaal. It sounds like a great movie. I mean, just these two alone, I'm sold. And um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know what it's about, but I have to check it out soon. So, I did have the slip extra. So, I just put the... It doesn't come out, so... I did have an extra slip. And, uh... Well, the slip doesn't want to come out. Same artwork inside. And I think this is... No, this is Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray only disc, which doesn't bother me. It's Blu-ray dig DVD digital, but it only came with the Blu-ray. But that's cool. And I'm surprised for an older movie, it came in mint condition. <sighs> Finally, I know people said this was not Clint Eastwood's best film. It's based on a true story, and they had the real soldiers that were on the freaking train 1517 to Paris. And uh, they used the actual people in it. Now it does have people like Jenna Fisher in there. And um, I think even uh, Jaleel White is in here from Family Matters. And there's some other stars in there. So if you didn't have stars in the movie, people would be like, I don't want to see that. But, uh, yeah, it was supposed to be, like, uh, Clint Eastwood's not-so-great movie. And it's 94 minutes long, so I still got to replace this case because it's a double. I'm just going to single. So I want to check it out anyway. Finally, finally, I got these from... Let's see this one first. One of these is from uh, Silver. The Silver Series from Classic Flicks. It's the Hal Roach Streamline Collection. Now I'm going to get all of these, which I have basically all the way up to, I think the one that comes out in August. And then there's one that comes out in September, which I didn't pre-order yet. But these are all the films after how roach stop making shorts <coughs> sorry and um he put out these streamlined films they weren't exactly shorts and they weren't exactly feature films they were somewhere in between so and the production value was cheaper and everything else so this is 298 minutes the aspect ratio is 130 three one and one thirty three seven and um yeah it ranks between nineteen forty one and nineteen forty eight and these are the um you know the, the wartime comedies and the and the very last one on here is in Technicolor so I didn't even open this one up yet I do have two more coming one just got a shipment or I, I still got a, I got a notification that it just got shipped. But there's another one as well that should have got shipped by now. But because it came out today. Eh, being the 30th that I'm filming this. So yeah. Highly recommend getting into this. So I'm into the, so I'm into the um, Hell Roach Comedies. So there's another company. Uh, called Kit Parker Films, and it's released. Oh, Kit Parker Films Sprocket Vault is the, actually the company that distributes. And MVD Visual is another company that's, that that helps them distribute it. And it is the Hal the Hal Roach shorts. This just happened to be Charlie Chase Volume Two, and it's from thirty two thirty three. I think there's probably going to be two or three more of these because uh, he made a lot of shorts at, at uh, um, Hal Roach. And there's even a... Um, what Hal Roach liked to do was to put in Spanish versions of his film so he can sell them to Mexico and Spain and all those other places that speak the Spanish, the Spanish language and he made more money that way. And a lot of them are lost, but some of them are still around. Like the Lorne Hardy ones, almost every single one is still here. There was a 
there was a Little Rascals one I never got my hands on because I don't even know if it exists. And uh, Charlie Chase made a few. And um, this is Volume 2. There's only one on here. Volume 1 also has one on there. So it's two Spanish ones. But these were longer than the actual shorts. So it was a feature film just for um, imported to other countries. This one, Harry Langdon. I didn't even know he existed until I was looking up something. And this is his shorts when he first started in talkies because he was a silent star. And um, from 29 to 30, this also features the beautiful Thelma Tad. She was in this before she got her own series with Zazu Pitts and then later Patsy Kelly. And um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's nine shorts on here, I think. Yeah, there's nine shorts. There's also one that's in Spanish that he did, which could be interesting. I hope there's, I hope there's subtitles on it because I like to watch them just to see what the difference is. Um, and there's a little, a little documentary on Harry Langdon from 1920, not 1929, but something Harry Langdon 29, uh, How Road Studio auction. Don't know what that is. 1963. Um, commentaries, supplements, music composed, and blah blah blah. But uh, yeah, these. This company and Classic Flicks go hand in hand if you're looking for more How Roach stuff to get. And then, of course, there's How Roach stuff on um, um, a lot of Warner Brothers archives with, uh, you know, General Spanky was a How Roach film. Um, there's other ones I want to get, but uh, I, I don't know if I'm be interested in them. The shorts and the streamlined films, I'm interested in the history of those. But the actual feature films, sometimes no. So, yeah, it comes with two discs, even artwork. So this company does a great job. I actually talked to the guy that was in charge of this. I forgot his name. I think his name was Kit Partner. And I, I emailed him. I said, do you need any reviewers? And he said, no, not right now. Plus, you need bigger numbers on your channel. But he liked my channel. I think he subbed to it. I'm not sure. But, you know, have something to look forward to. And uh, finally, I got this. I still have to fix it. Could not find this for the life of me. Could not find this for the life of me. Sent in this slip. And um, it was a, a um, it was an IMAX film that was only exclusive to a Blu-ray set. It was an IMAX um, movie collection, which was all IMAX films from, I think, National Geographic. Was only all the National Geographic. Well, everything on there I had except for the last two that I showed you, um, and this one, which I couldn't find on Blu-ray, but I found the disc by itself. The wildest weather in the solar system. It's only 24 minutes, and I can't find this on Blu-ray at all. If anyone's got this on Blu-ray, let me know. Maybe we can make a deal, or a DVD copy of it pristine condition because this one's not in pristine condition condition but I can't fix it uh, I have the JFJ Easy Pro and it's not that bad of scratches these are all scuff scratches I don't know if you can actually see it right. let me get the light just perfect uh, no you can't but they're basically scuff scratches all over the place it looks like they just played hockey on a hockey table with it. You know, like one of those air hockey tables. But uh, I will try to fix this. Hopefully it'll work. I'm going to see if it plays beforehand. And then see if it works. So that was... I think that was... Everything I got this month... 
from all these places. And um, if you have any comments or questions about anything that I showed in these big stacks, feel free to get a hold of me on this channel at just comments or questions, all right? Or you can get a hold of me on Instagram at MovieEdge1. You can check out my other collections um, on my other Instagram page at Movie Edge Non Media. That that channel needs to be updated, but if you haven't seen it before, check it out. Uh, do got a lot of stuff coming in for July. It's just the mail's been extremely slow. If you were having this problem with Amazon and the U.S. Postal Service, man, when the virus did hit big time, I was getting mail faster. Now, after the virus is slowing down here in Illinois and everyone's wearing masks and stuff, I'm just, it's just like slow as anything. And I had to, I had to cancel uh, some stuff as well. I had a phone case coming, had to cancel it. There's a book um, about Molly Graham pictures that I wanted to get so I knew what to look for and stuff. And uh, that one's taking its sweet time. If it doesn't come by July 1st, I'm just going to ask for a refund. Um, it's just a lot of stuff is just taking its time. And um, if it's not taking its time, it's coming with a bunch of weight on top of it and is damaged. The, the cases get damaged, so whatever. This is Movie Edge. I am done saying movies are your best entertainment. Catch you next time, people.